Another week has come to an end and we get to see how our favorite movies are doing financially. This is a show that I like to call Box Office Highlight Reel. Essentially the ESPN for film fans where we break down the domestic weekend performers, how big the films are playing at a global scale, and what blockbusters have become successful and which ones have fallen flat on their faces. We have a lot to talk about so let's tear this thing open and see what's cooking. Debuting with $25.03 million is the latest DC superhero adventure Blue Beetle coming in at the mid-range of last week's projections of 20 to 27 million. There's more to talk about with these numbers so stay tuned later on in the show for the full financial breakdown. Also debuting this week is Strays, an R-rated pet comedy told from the perspective of man's best friend. The film opened with a staggeringly low $8.25 million, coming in way under last week's projections of 14 to 21 million for the weekend. The rest of the top 5 played out a little differently than one would expect. Blue Beetle, despite the soft debut, managed to take first place, but not far behind it is Barbie and Oppenheimer, grossing $21.03 and $10.73 million respectively in their fifth weekend. In its third weekend, placing in fourth place is Mutant Mayhem, grossing $8.54 million, almost knocked down a peg by newcomer Strays. Now moving on to the top 10 American films of the year so far, the Super Mario Bros. is still in first place by the skin of its teeth because right behind it is Barbie gaining quickly with $1.28 billion. In third place is Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, but not far behind it is Oppenheimer which has been flying up this list with $718 million so far. That brings Fast X down to 5th place, followed by Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, The Little Mermaid, Mission Impossible 7, and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. In 10th place, however, with quite the comeback is Elemental with $458 million, and that bumps Transformers Rise of the Beasts out of the top 10. Moving on to the profitability calculator, movie studios don't get all the revenue back. In fact, they only get two-thirds of the domestic take, and across the rest of the world, the take is only around 45%. How we calculate profitability is we combine the production budget with the advertising costs. Advertising is hard to find numbers on, so if nothing is reported, it's usually half of the production budget but not greater than 100 million. We then compare the total spend with the studio take, and the sum of this determines our ROI, which is return on investment. Just to keep my sanity and save your time, I only include movies that are passing their 45-day theatrical window, and talk about the financials of the new movies just for fun. I am a couple weeks late to this because I was away, but Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny has more than passed its 45 day window. Directed by James Mangold, the film had a reported budget of $329 million and a marketing budget of around $100 million. That brings the total spend up to an astronomical $429 million. The film has grossed $375.98 million worldwide so far, $173.61 million from domestic markets, only $3.3 million from China, and $202.37 million from international markets. When you do the math, the total take is somewhere around $206.31 million, and off of $429 million spend, that means the return on investment is negative $222.59 million, becoming one of the biggest disasters in Disney Lucasfilm history, solidifying itself as an undeniable box office bomb. New this weekend is Blue Beetle, directed by Angel Manuel Soto. The film had a reported budget of around $104 million and an estimated $52 million in marketing, taking the total spend to around $156 million. To break even, the film would need to gross around $390 million over the course of its global run, and to put it in perspective, the film has only grossed $43.63 million so far. Next week, audiences get to see Gran Turismo, which is tracking to debut with $17 to $22 million in its opening weekend. I was able to see this film a couple of weeks ago, and I highly encourage you to check it out. As always, I hope you stick around because there will be so much more to talk about in next week's box office highlight reel. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. My goal is to have an international group of film lovers that can come together and talk about their favorite niche in the whole wide world, movies. So without further ado, go down below and let me know what your thoughts are on the topic. I might not agree, but your opinion always matters and don't let anybody tell you otherwise.